Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Today I have got another grinder analysis for you guys and we're going to be looking at the legendary drop rates for the grenade mod. So uh, this is actually going to be the biggest one yet surprisingly enough. Uh, it's huge the amount of grenades you can actually get uh, in this game and out of the grinder. So uh, yeah, let's kick it off anyway and uh, just come up with the recipe. Nice and simple. Three legendary grenades will get you a guaranteed legendary grenade. Uh, I know that sounds like a bit of a waste, but sometimes you may pick up some uh, certain, you know, certain grenades that, that you don't want, duplicates of certain grenades, and you can go and put them in the grinder with, for a chance of uh, getting something better out of it, or something that you don't actually have. So, uh, as you can see, I have three identical bouncing bazers come out, um, put into the grinder, and uh, the first thing that came out is a nice, nasty surprise. So, that is the first of, believe it or not, ten grenade mods. Um, that can be obtained from the grinder. So uh, I'm going to give them a little overview now over the next 10 and uh, then you'll go ahead and see um, me actually using them for a short time and uh, actually what they look like, things like that. So as you can see, the first thing that came out was a nasty surprise. We got that in the shock variety, um, but it does come in all sorts of different, um, you know, um, elements, that's the word. So uh, yeah, next after the nasty surprise, uh, came out the leech. Now the leech also work. This one came out quite a lot in all different, uh, all different elements. Once again, I'm gonna have to remember that word elements. I keep forgetting uh, the actual word. But uh, yeah, the leech came out next. Uh, the third grenade mod to come out was the bonus package, which obviously you will remember if you're a uh, fan of Borderlands from Borderlands 2. The bonus package, one of the first grenade mods you, uh, it was the first grenade mod actually, a uh, legendary grenade mod you could obtain. Uh, and it's just an absolute mad one, that one with all them chow grenades coming out, explosive variety. And uh, just absolutely goes mental. Don't stand near the bonus package or you will die. Um, after that, another old returning favourite was the Quasar that came out. Um, always comes in the shock variety, very good against shield. So uh, I do recommend actually going for the Quasar. Um, especially on higher levels when you come across big bosses with high shields and that chuck a couple of quizars down and uh, yeah it'll soon strip it off you so uh, that was what came out then then was a new one um, to the pre-sequel called the Four Seasons now uh, this is um, a quite strange grenade mod actually because it actually has a chance of coming out with a random element you don't actually know what that element is going to be it actually you know doesn't tell you when you're looking at the actual grenade what it's going to be. It's a completely random chance. Sometimes it's, um, well, quite a lot of the time I always find it's corrosive, but that just may be my luck. But uh, yeah, it will spawn with a random chance. And uh, if you do chuck 10 grenades down, 10 four seasons down, there is a chance of uh, all four elements actually coming up. So uh, it's good for getting that achievement actually um, in the pre sequel where you've got to get an enemy slagged, uh, not slagged, oh, going back to Borden's 2 there. Get an enemy corroded, um, cryo, you know, shocked, and what's the other one? Oh, incendiary, all at the same time. So that's a good way of doing that for the four seasons. But again, it's a completely random chance of getting that. After that came the Rolling Thunder, which uh, is, a, you know, an old returning one as well from Borderlands 2. That one where you uh, actually chuck it in a straight line and it, as it bounces, it explodes. Uh, I think you can get that from Wilhelm originally in Borderlands 2. So that has returned in this game uh, and that actually came out after the four seasons and uh, I told you this was a long list guys. Um, next was the Pandemic which uh, obviously again came from Borderlands 2. That is a, um, a corrosive grenade mod, real messy looking thing, really does corrode down uh, enemies really well actually. It's quite a nasty looking one. Um, the Stormfront came after that, again another really good shock one. Uh, good for stripping down shields. I do like the storm fronts actually. I always uh, use them. I just like that little barrier it puts up around the enemies and shoots out them uh, them little shock orbs, and they'll just continue to strip down shields uh, as long as the enemy's in the area. So I like to chuck a, a couple of them down against uh, a lot of bosses, and uh, yeah, really get the shields down and uh, get me back in the fight. Really. So uh, there we go. After the storm front actually came the bouncing buzzer which i always found is a it's a bit like the rolling thunder really it goes in a dead straight line it'll uh, 
you know, leak out elements at certain points, things like that. That does come in all elements as well, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, then finally, finally at the end of the list came the Fire Bee. That was uh, the last grenade mod which actually came out um, of our runs. And uh, yeah, that actually only comes in uh, the fire element, obviously. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, Shock Bee or out like that. Quite a confusing thing whenever you see the Bee coming up. Confuses you from the old Bee Shield from, uh, from the last game. But uh, yeah, they decided to call it the Fire Bee for some reason. Uh, and that is it, believe it or not. So that is a huge list uh, of grenade mods. Normally in these uh, legendary grinder analysis videos, um, we only have like a maximum, I think, of a... Let me have a look. I'm looking at the results here. Sniper rifle, drop rates. So yeah, the six. I think six is the most we've had so far. Um, going right back down to class mods, which was uh, three. So yeah, normally it's between three and six. And today on grenades, we've actually got ten coming out so uh, yeah it's going to be a massive one this one it's uh, just under 10 minutes long this whole video and all I could manage to fit in was um, the actual first time drops of all of these grenades so let's get the rambling over and come in with the results so obviously like last time I uh, or the last couple of episodes actually ever since we started this thing I did 50 runs of this in the grinder and uh, you'll see the results above now so the one that came out the most common by far, bearing in mind that 50 runs is quite a lot normally for like between 4 and 6 weapons, you can get a good variation, but there's 10 in here now, so you know, that's only on average, if all 10 came out uh, on the same, that was only 5 drops per uh, actual drop, if you get what I mean, so uh, per, per grenade, so we're not going to get a massive amount of variation, the best way to do this probably would be if I got 100 runs of this but uh, I'm going to stick to 50 for now but the results anyway are the most common by far was the pandemic that did have a 9 drop rate uh, in total of 50 runs so nearly uh, yeah 20% of the actual drops were the pandemic so that was the most common in joint second were three all together and that was the nasty surprise the leech and the bonus package which was quite interesting actually because uh, they came out a lot at the beginning and I didn't see them much towards the end. They were the first three grenades that we actually dropped and uh, they are all in joint second place. Uh, next in joint third place are two grenades which were the Rolling Thunder and the Stormfront. They both came out uh, five times a piece actually. Just behind that was the very last one we got actually. That came out quite a lot towards the end. Uh, that was four runs, uh, four drops sorry, for the Fire B. Uh, after that was uh, the Four Seasons on its own with three drops uh, only, which isn't a lot really. Lot, um, we saw that mainly down the middle of the 50 runs and then we didn't really see it again uh, at the beginning or the end actually. Uh, one place behind that, at number six, was the Quasar, which only came out two times, believe it or not, uh, which is very, very low. And uh, then in last place, or first if you want to look at it for the rarest, was actually the Bouncing Bazaar, the newbie to uh, this actual game. And uh, that only came out once in 50 runs. So quite a good variation still there. Uh, like I said, I love looking at these um, analyses. Is that a word? Analyses? Yeah, I like analysing things. And it's quite interesting to see the result. So uh, yeah, between 9 and 1 drops was, uh, was the highest to the lowest. Uh, but like I said, there was just so many grenades. I was honestly expecting about 6. I completely forgot that there is 10 grenades, uh, legendary grenades available within this game. So uh, yeah, really excited about that. So uh, let me know what you guys think about all these grenades. If you've got a favourite or if you want to do this analysis yourself, let me know your results and uh, yeah, we'll see if we get anything different. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to the next episode as well now, which will be legendary shields, I think. Uh, I think there's quite a lot of them as well. So that might be a very interesting episode. But once again, just to clarify, the pandemic came in at nine runs. The uh, Nasty Surprise Leech bonus package came in second with seven runs. After that, in joint third with the Rolling Thunder and the Stormfront with five runs. Then we've got the Fire Bee four times. After that, the Four Seasons on its own with three. Then it was the Quasar with two. And in last place was the Bouncing Bazaar with only one drop. So there you go, guys. That is the Legendary Grinder Analysis. Four Legendary Grenade Mods within Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.